What's up you guys, it's your boy Elijah Steven and as you can see today we're here with my Hatchback WRX. Uh, this video was requested a super long time ago and I'm finally getting to it. But anyways, we're going to be going over what has been done to, excuse me, what has been done to my 2008 Subaru WRX. Um, to start off with, as you can see, this car is wrapped currently. Um, we have uh, two different colors wrapped on it. We have this black in gloss. Um, and then we have the Avery Russian Riptide satin uh, color. Um, it's super, super nice. It's like blue, like this weird blue um, emeraldy color. And then it transfers over to like this orangey gold and purple, and uh, depending on the lighting. So that is super cool. But anyways, to start off, we'll give a little brief um, information about the car itself. Um, like I said, it's a 2008 hatchback. Um, a lot of people didn't like this uh, body style. Um, for the year, but for the hatches, they still look super good. I do like the wide bodies in the 2011 to 14, but they still look super good. The sedans, I'm sorry if you all want them, but it's hard to make them look, look good. So I will pour out a drink for you guys in a moment of silence. Anyways, so as I said, this is my 2008. There's about 120,000 miles on the body itself. Um, but on the motor, it did blow. Every Subi owner knows that their motor blows at some point if you're running aftermarket mods, even if it's tuned really well. And so that set me back about $5,000. Um, all of the motor work was done by Modified All Drive, the homie over there, Pat. He rebuilt the motor for me. So when he rebuilt it, we got the uh, upgraded a ARP head studs. Um, the heads were redone. Uh, and then the motor was taken to the machine shop and was, you know, fully redone there. Um, so we got a little bit of goodies worked on there. Um, neighbor just drove by. Anyways, so uh, besides that, all the work I have done to this car has been done by myself. Um, so some things that we have done include the cold air intake. Um, particularly, I have the Typhoon K&N. I, I, I personally like it a lot. Um, it's not necessarily the short ram. I don't like the Cobb short rams, and everyone I know that has them, they say that their intakes or their intake temps are super high, and how it, I mean, it just they don't get good gains out of any of it. So I have the K&N. Um, it's got a super super huge filter, um, and it actually goes kind of into the wheel well, so that's kind of nice to get some of that cool air that's not as um, restricted by some of the heat from the engine that you'll get on the short ram. Um, the car is tuned by cam tuning down in Albuquerque. Um, it's on 18 pounds of boost, kind of conservative because I'm not on flex fuel. That's another thing we'll be doing soon is the flex fuel. So if you want to see that, go ahead and comment down below. Um, when we do go flex fuel, we'll probably be able to run boost up into the 20s um, a lot more efficiently and safely for the motor. So we will go with the flex fuel kit, probably from Cobb. Um, some other things we've done, we'll go ahead and go um, off of the intake. We have upgraded to the Mishimoto inlet. So that has provided, I mean, a, a much better flow from the intake through to the turbo and everything. Um, and then with both of those two combined, we get like the craziest turbo spooling noise uh, in a little bit after this little part. We'll go ahead and take you out and we'll drive it and I'll do a little couple pulls so you can really hear that. It sounds incredible and it's super loud. So that's something I love. And then moving outside of that, um, we'll just move to maybe the exhaust setup. I have a NVIDIA Catalyst downpipe with the divorced wastegate housing. Um, and then behind that, we have the full NVIDIA N1 exhaust. I think it's like a three and a half inch piping. Um, it's pretty dang loud. I personally love a loud car. I would be totally cool with it if it was louder. But to most people, it's pretty dang loud, especially in the mornings and on wide open throttle. So if you are in the market for one, definitely go with the NVIDIA. Um, you can see a prior installation video um, a little bit further back in my channel. But anyways, so I really do like that um, because it is catless. You'll sometimes get some fumes from oils or gases that are kind of leaking into the exhaust. But I mean, that's the cool part of it. It gives you that race car feeling. Um, moving past that, we'll kind of talk about just some exterior mods. Uh, like I said, we have this wrap that's done. Um, it's super, super cool. We'll go ahead and give you some different angles of that. Uh, you can also check out the wrap on my Instagram. My Instagram is Elijah underscore Steven underscore. You can see a couple more photos. Then we have the enforced arrow splitter, the enforced 
Forest Arrow Side Skirts. They were actually a sponsor of this car for a little while before. Um, I need to get a new splitter though because as you can see, or maybe you can't, it's like destroyed. Every car owner has been there with their splitter. So I need to replace that one, um, but we should be getting that soon. Um, and then as far as wheels go, we have just XXRs, nothing crazy, Toyo tires. Um, uh, I'm planning to, I didn't get go crazy with the wheels because I'm planning to go with a wide body kit. There's a company that makes them. They're super, super cool. It's not just like fender flares. It's a full wide body with wider fender, I mean wider um, like side skirting, everything. It's, it's just a lot better. And when I do go with that, I'm gonna go with the works Kawami wheels. So it'll be super cool, super wide, super beefy tire setup will come with that as well. Um, and then in the very back, we have a carbon fiber uh, SDI wing. Super nice, super expensive, but it looks really great. Then we have the Straff Design Diffuser that took like six months to get here. So it looks really good, but I I mean, if you're okay waiting for six months. Um, anyways, so uh, besides that, um, on the rear, it looks really nice too because that NVIDIA, we have the burnt tip. I know a lot of people will say, well, some people think it's rice, some people don't. Um, and I guess it all depends because you'll see burnt tips on titanium exhaust, whatever. So it looks super good. It looks super aggressive. And then as far as the interior goes, we just have the regular old seats. Um, the 2008 actually has some really nice sport seats in them. And then we have um, the previous owner had bought this car with the upgrade. So it has like those heated seats and all that good jazz. Um, and then we've done a little bit of a uh, different color change to the interior the interior all the trim is painted like this super super cool like cherry blossomy pink color so we'll go ahead and show that as well and go out for a little drive so that looks super good it changed up the look and then other than that the only other big thing to really note about this car is it is an automatic and everyone has a big debate about automatic or manual i've had the chance to drive many manuals i mean Cayman I drive was a six speed. My WRX I had was a 2018, it was red, it was a six speed. The Boxster over there, you can't see the other Porsche is a six speed. So like I love to drive both. I've also drove driven like 600 LTs and stuff like that. So I have respect for both automatic and manual. So I really don't, uh, I'm not really bothered by people that are like, oh, manual or nothing. Um, a lot of those people have never experienced both. Obviously manual is a lot of fun, but get a different feeling out of each and if I want to get the feeling of driving manual I'll just drive and get in the Porsche and drive that so um, that actually is super cool actually because unlike uh, being in the manual car you won't really lose that boost when you get up to shifting the gears it does have like the sport mode or whatever so that is a super cool feeling because you're like sucked in your seat and you stay sucked in your seat and it's, it's super cool um, but other than that I probably missed a few different things I know I missed some, some mods as far as that goes in the engine department but um, that is about it. Like I said, we're gonna be going wide body, work Kawami wheels. If you wanna see that, drop a comment down below and leave a like on this video and go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. But without further ado, I think we need to get in the car and actually go and drive it so you can hear it and then show you some of the interior. So let's do this. All right, you guys, we'll give you a little bird's eye view here, a little POV. Um, we're gonna be going ahead and starting this up just so you can hear it a little bit. Go ahead and walk out to the back. Did you hear it? So, I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm having to yell a little bit, but it's pretty loud. that turbo noise I was telling you about. Let's go. I'm not gonna do a really another pull, but I just wanna let you guys hear the turbo. So it's really loud. I'm sure you can hear that on camera. I hope you can hear it on camera. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. 
hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon.